If you'd have told me a year ago that this is where I'd be, I'd, <laughs> I'd probably be surprised I wasn't caught sooner. I've lived on thin ice, stealing to eat, stealing to live, to keep a roof over my family's heads. Day-to-day -day living has been such a struggle. I've never really given much thought to the, the big questions, you know, spirituality, God and all that. Until my final day, my final hours, beside this man Jesus, who has done no wrong, yet still ending up between two thieves who, who got what they deserved. They say your life flashes before your eyes when you're dying. <laughs> my mind wasn't much to speak of, other than the love in my family. I've never done anything noble or heroic. I've always been the taker, you know, not the giver. I felt entitled to what I took, but I didn't deserve it. No, not really. And yet, this man Jesus, as, as crazy as this sounds, I, I felt that he was there for me. That those final words that he said to me, today you will be with me in paradise. That they, they, they gave me something I'd never felt before. A purpose, a meaning. There's more to life than food and shelter and clothing and things. This man, this incredible, innocent man, showed me so by the look in his eyes, the, the determination and belief in his face. Um, he didn't just believe, he, he knew where our souls were going after our bodies had given up. I truly believe that this man was the Messiah, the Son of God. And, and yet... He chose to step down from his glory and die on a cross next, next to a thief like me. Somehow, he found forgiveness and generosity in his heart to offer me a place in his paradise. I knew he was there for me, to suffer and bleed and die with me. So he would know how it felt. So he could release me from all the trouble I'd made for myself all my life. With my final breath, I gave thanks to God for sending his son to, de to die beside me, to understand, to truly relate to me. Hmm. Am I closer to the heart of God because of the pain I feel? Hmm. I wonder. <laughs>